Bristol numbers out to the left. Deborah Wills looks for the corner. Do you want to go back in the ball pit? Let's put you back in the ball pit. Hi, I'm Deborah Wills and I play for Bristol Bears. So I grew up in Cornwall in Penzance, like right down the bottom of the country. I started playing rugby at 21. I loved rugby immediately. When I was playing netball, they used to sort of say I was a bull in a china shop. And when I was sprinting, I just, I just didn't really enjoy it. You, you got a for mummy. <laughs> so my return to rugby was quite quick. I was back in the gym sort of seven days after giving birth and I was running on sort of the fourth or fifth week and then back at club at six weeks and I did contact at 11 weeks and my first game was 17 weeks postpartum but I think I could have played sooner there was just no games because it was pre-season. Having a child has completely changed my life. I think your focus for your life completely shifts and so yes I'm still playing rugby and yes I love it and I returned super fast after giving birth and you know I've been able to do the two things together. My main focus at the end of the day is my family unit. I think, you know, Deborah as a mum is, is amazing. I mean, personally for me, it's quite um, unique and amazing because my wife's pregnant and she's a rugby player. So for us as a, as a couple to learn from, from, from Deb and to speak to her and to understand some of the stuff she, she went through, it's incredibly inspirational as well for her to go and play 80 minutes, pick up her son at the end of the game and then walk around with the crowd. I think it's an amazing thing. It certainly gets, gets me excited about starting my family and obviously for the girls around as well. I mean, they're seeing, it's, it's not unique anymore, hopefully, that they can go and be outstanding athletes as well as then go and perform in the Premiership week in, week out. So playing for England was a huge achievement for me. It was something I had always wanted to do. So when it finally came about and it was with England Sevens, I was thrilled and thrilled that it could also become my job at the time and going to the Commonwealth Games and playing however many World Series legs I did for England. I, I'll be proud of that always. The Olympic experience was definitely a mix bag for me. I think emotionally it's just a really like huge roller coaster and then coming forth is one of the hardest positions to finish. So I look back with on it with really mixed emotions and I guess it's something that probably took a year or so to really I guess come to terms with for me personally. So it's, it's a difficult one, it's a, a hard memory to discuss still and I think that's probably because I'm so performance minded and for me, I really wanted a medal. We call her a bit of a superwoman, you know, obviously she's, she's, a, she's a recent mother and the way she's coming to the squad, the tries of tries she's scored. She's also striving to get faster, to get stronger. She came into the, um, the office the other day and she was pumped about a PB which is exactly the type of character she is. And you know, I think she's still got those small uh, international aspirations, which we're absolutely harboring for her. We, we want to keep pushing her to be one of the best wingers in the league. And that's what she's done at Bristol Bears this season. Bristol was actually a club I spoke to post Olympics. It's just, it's nice to be back with them all. And I mean, I love Bristol as well, like as a place. <laughs> I think it's huge for the team to make the playoffs. Obviously, Bristol Bears made the playoffs last year and they fell short just in that semi-final against Exeter. And that's a really hard pill to swallow. We're all really excited to be getting stuck into a semi-final and to showcase how we play, the culture that we have as a club, and yeah, to go out there and hopefully come away with the win and win the entire league. Who doesn't want to do that? <laughs> Rugby as a whole is so much sweeter now that in the crowd I have my family there. Um, you can't beat it. Win or lose, I go and I hold my baby and I see my husband and we have that moment of like there's so much more to the game but you know it's, it's just those moments where maybe one day I'll still be playing and we could run out together. That would be amazing and so lifting a trophy um, with the Bears players and coaches and with my baby there as well is just, I couldn't ask for more of a sport that I love.